Richard, for the first time in a while, just the old traditional ductwork. Right. You know, we see nowadays more and more people using the flex and assembly, like on a rector set. This is the classic way it's always been done. Perfectly installed ductwork. Uh, you can see here a supply going out. Here's the return coming back to our air handler. Not our small ones. We've got plenty of room That's right. um, in this house to That's put right. this stuff in. But the way it comes to us is not as assembled duct. It comes the way it's always come, which is in two halves. This is a, a, either rectangular or square, mm. and those pieces will join together. And then there's a series of tools to shape metals. You know, this would be a little break to be able to bend in a clean way. Uh, these, there's all kinds of shears, left and right shears for cutting it. This is for crimping, if I needed to put an edge like this to crimp a round duct, yeah. okay? And then all kinds of methods for connecting it. And I thought Obi and Sarah could show us how it's done. Each piece has a male and a female. You have to just get the male lined up and then snap it in. He's got the little hammer going. And that's why they call it tin knocking. All right, so now he has to notch all four corners so we can prepare the metal to actually allow it to mate to another piece of ductwork. Now, using a tool called the brake, he can actually bend that piece of metal in a clean, beautiful, straight line back on itself. And now he has to do the same thing on the direct opposite side. So in the unbent pieces of metal, we, next thing we install is an S-clip. You can see one on each side, and that's going to allow the male piece, the straight piece, from the next piece of ductwork to key right in to, to that S-clip. So sometimes these don't go in this well, so Obi, show the tool to just roll those together so you can now bring, it gives you a little leverage. You know, if you had a long piece of duct, you wouldn't be able to get it in. And now there's a thing called a drive cleat. And you can see that it's bent in such a way that there's a perfect place for both of these uh, bent pieces. And it protrudes over. And then you can bend it down. Go ahead. Okay. So we got to do the same on the other side. got to put zip screws on all four corners. Yep. So now we've got a connection, but it's not tight enough. You know, it's not going to pull apart right now, but it's not tight enough to hold back air. So we've got to seal all the longitudinal seams and everywhere we butted two pieces together. And for this, we're going to use mastic tape. That really sticks on beautiful. And for the butt seams, we're going to use a special elastomer mastic. Now this, you want to be liberal with it and just creating a rubberized seal. You know, it can be messy, but it's the most effective by far for all those little cracks and seams. All right, so it goes on gooey and it hardens, but it still stays rubberized, so it, it keeps a tight seal. It doesn't flake off afterwards. So we've sealed all the longitudinal seams. We put a little tape even over that wet mastic, but now we're not done yet. We still have to insulate. All right, so this is a two-inch insulation. Okay, you want to pull it so it's snug. I got it here. Okay. And we've essentially fiberglass on one side, foil on the out. That's right. Okay. And then he's going to staple it. Hmm. You're trying to get all the fiberglass. Yeah, that folds it sort of in on himself. Yeah. This is an acquired skill. All right, so OB, that finishes that one just about. Why is the insulation important? Uh, that keeps the heat or the cooling inside of the ducts, so make sure to distribute in the right place, so not inside of the attic or in the basement. The money you paid for stays in the duct, right? <laughs> all right, terrific. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button to make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.